You know what's unnecessary? Digging up a canal with 500 nuclear bombs because you were too lazy to do the digging yourself. And if this sounds like the worst idea imaginable, congratulations! You weren't a part of the US committee behind the Israeli Canal, one of the dumbest projects in history. This terrible idea started with the Suez Crisis. The Suez Canal is one of the most important man-made trade routes in the world, going right through Egypt to connect the Mediterranean Sea and the Indian Ocean. Meanwhile, Britain, France, and Israel were all mad that they didn't own it, and they weren't about to let something like borders stop them from quote-unquote claiming it. This led to fighting that forced the canal to close so traders wouldn't get caught in the crossfire. And because the Suez Canal became so important for trade, the entire global economy took a massive hit from what was a relatively small fight. The fight was resolved quickly thanks to the efforts from the United Nations telling Britain, France, and Israel that they were acting like children and the economy recovered just as fast. But less than a decade after the incident, the United States wanted to create a backup plan. They wanted something that would keep the economy strong even if the Suez Canal closed off for whatever reason. Like that cargo ship that got stuck in 2021 and became a meme for some reason. The solution was to create a second canal, one that would go straight through Israel and act as a backup in case the Suez Canal became unusable again. And as a bonus to no one except the United States, this canal would be controlled by the United States government even though the canal would go right through Israel. That means that most of the money earned from trade taxes would go to the United States. Yet that isn't even the craziest part of the plan. That would be the use of nuclear explosives to create the canal. According to the orchestrators of this plan, excavating a canal of this size would be impractical for both the time it would take and the money it would cost. And the much more economical solution was to blow it all up and hope there wouldn't be too much fallout for the Israelis. Yeah, economical is one way to describe it. And that's the craziest part. The plan never once considered what the people of Israel would think of this plan. Everyone working on this canal either didn't think about it or just assumed they could waltz into a foreign country and blow up a few hundred nuclear bombs without consequence. Based on everything else about this project, either of those seemed possible. Of course, this plan never came to be, because for that to happen, it would have had to pass by people who are actually experts in this field. Instead, the documents were classified and kept out of the public eye for decades. And that's the part I find most exciting about this. How many other completely insane ideas did the government have that we still don't know about because they're still classified? Are there any crazy ideas the United States came up with recently? We won't know for another 50 years. All we can do is wait in anticipation, as possibly some of the most insane ideas that have ever been thought up remain locked in a storage room waiting to be let out.